Okay, there's Microdot Peak, and uh, this is the tracks. Just came down there, dig a pit at the top of those tracks. And um, just prior to that, prior to me going up there, um, there's a crew that came over here, Crew 7. And uh, yeah, and they triggered this avalanche. Hi, my name is Mark Beverly. I'm an aspiring mountain guide with the American Mountain Guides Association, the AMGA. What that means is that I've passed all my aspirant exams in all three disciplines of rock, alpine, and ski mountaineering. I've been fortunate enough to be able to be the recipient of the 2010 Mike Catrup Scholarship Award for Ski Mountaineering Aspirants. We're expected to demonstrate a high level of skill, not only in analyzing and assessing the snowpack, its stability, and also how much fun it is, but also to keep our clients safe, happy, warm, and have a memorable experience all at the same time. That's quite a tall order. We spend many days being evaluated in the field by some of the world's best ski mountaineering guides has to offer. Allie Schwartz, Colin Zacharias, and Evan Stevens have been our evaluators over the course of nine days and have also been our instructors on previous courses and exams. As you can see, we spent many days hiking and skiing around the Talkeetna Mountains at Hatcher Pass and the southern Chugach near Girdwood. We've been expected to show our clients where the best skiing is while mitigating risk. Being the recipient of the Mike Hatcher 2010 Scholarship Award has helped me achieve a goal and a dream of being able to take the Ski Mountaineering Guides exam. In addition, it makes me feel that I must aspire to be the best guide I can be, not only on this exam, but also in my practice. Here we're skiing some low angle terrain because of high avalanche conditions. We've had to make that assessment through our observations and evaluation of the snowpack, also of our interpretation of what the weather brings. Skiing low angle terrain isn't so bad. These alders presented some great challenges in themselves, nipping and tucking through some of them, big wide open terrain other times, but beautiful views nonetheless. Lots of fun and lots of laughs. In addition to assuring the safety and well-being of our client, we show them a good time by also informing them of pertinent history of the outlying areas that we go to, taking them to some of those historical places such as the Independence Mine shown here, and also talking to them about leave no trace practices. Have you whirl a pole? Okay. Whirling a pole means next go. Okay. This means stop and wait for further direction. Okay. okay. Communication is key. Uh, it's key in the regards that it keeps our clients safe while still having fun. Have fun. You can see we're getting some great turns. Forecast. <laughs> <laughs>
I think it'd be way too much fun for today. <laughs> rain, highs in the rain, highs in the 40s. East wind, 15 to 30. Gusts in the 40. It's gonna be fun. Rain. On a heli assist day, whether you're in the aspirin exam or in the full ski mountaineering guides exam, you know that you've only got one shot to look at the ground below you. Weather permitting, we're able to fly in, this time onto the Eagle Glacier, high above Girdwood and Alieska Ski Resort. We look around at all the options, Can't leave anything to chance in case there's a whiteout on our way out. As we make our final approach to where the rest of our team is waiting us, we know we'll spend the next couple of days in the general vicinity based out of our camp that was pre-decided prior to our egress from Girdwood. The mechanized ski program is a part of the Ski Mountaineering Guides exam that is absolutely invaluable. Not only does an opportunity like this help guides who don't work in heli ski operations or any other mechanized ski operations, but it also helps provide feedback for the ones who do. Having an opportunity like this is absolutely invaluable, especially when it comes to performing on an exam. And for some of our clients, it's a once in a lifetime dream come true. How was that? Good. That was awesome. Awesome. I want to go again. <laughs> yeah? And then uh, as soon as you guys are ready, we'll take off again. A ski mountaineering guide has to be ready for all kinds of weather. Sometimes the weather is good, and sometimes it's not good. Sometimes you can see, and sometimes you can see nothing. Sometimes when you see nothing, you're on dangerous terrain, such as crevassed ice fields, or maybe near cliffs or cornices. You have to understand how to deal with those while keeping your clients safe and comfortable and making an enjoyable experience all at the same time. All my special thanks goes out to Mike Hattrup and the Mike Hattrup Scholarship Fund, the American Mountain Guides Association, all the evaluators, Tyler Jones, my ski partner, for keeping it real, and Beverly Mountain Guides. Become a certified guide.